Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn that how in star delta starter, we will do connection of indication lamp. So here our starter is ready. I am turning on and off this just to show you. See, here when I give start command, motor is started. That is, star contactor turned on and main contactor turned on. Now this timer here, whatever time we set, after that time, what will happen is this delta contactor will turn on and star contactor will turn off. Now, if we want to turn off this starter, then simply what we will do by pressing this stop push button, we can turn off this. Friends, how to do control wiring of star delta starter? I already made a video of this and I provided link of that video in description. On clicking that link, you can watch that video. Now we have to do connection of indication lamp. Before doing connection of this, make a drawing first. Here I have the control wiring. In this control wiring, we will connect indication lamp also. This trip indication lamp will glow only when our motor trips. And this work of tripping the motor is done by overload relay. It means we have to use contact of this overload relay. Now this overload relay here, when you look into this overload relay, then in this you will find NO terminal and NC terminal. Now this NC terminal here will let the power supply to continuously flow from here. It means we don't have to use NC contact. Here we have to use NO contact because NO contact will not let indication lamp to glow in normal condition. But when our overload relay got tripped, then in this condition, NO will become NC and power supply will flow from here and goes to indication lamp. So how to do connection here? See, here is the NC of our overload relay. So here we will make a NO contact. I made a NO contact here. Now power supply which goes from output of this NO contact will go to indication lamp. And to this indication lamp, we will connect neutral power supply also. Now input power supply which we will connect here is from upper side terminals of overload relay. That is NC contact here, power supply which is going to this, from there only connect one wire to this point. So what we have to do, this NC contact here, input power supply which is coming to this, this one, from this only loop a wire and to this 97 number terminal connect input power supply. After this what we have to do, this 98 number terminal here, connect a wire with this and directly with trip indication lamp connect this wire. So here I connected this wire also. So to this trip indication lamp, I connected phase supply. We will connect neutral power supply in the end. Now this off indication lamp here, we will do connection of this. So how to do connection, let's understand this once. Look, this main contactor here, through this contactor only, we will turn on and off the motor. It means if main contactor is on, then in this condition, motor will remain on. And if main contactor turned off, then in this condition, motor will also turn off. So here what we will do, this main contactor here, we will use NC contact of this. That is, from here, we will connect a phase wire and with NC contact of main contactor, we will connect this wire. From output terminal of this, connect one wire and to the indication lamp, we will connect phase supply. After this, connect neutral power supply directly. So now we will do the connection. So what we have to do, first of all to this NC contact, we have to provide input power supply. So this MCB here, output power supply which is going from this, we have to connect this directly with NC contact. You can see in this, power supply which is coming to this overload relay, we have to loop this to these two terminals. So here what we will do, this NO contact of overload relay here, loop a wire with this and connect with NC contact of this contactor. So I am looping this wire in this way. Now after this what we have to do, this NC contact here, connect a wire with this in this way. Now take other end of this wire and off indication lamp here, that is yellow lamp here, connect wire with this. However we use green indication lamp for off indication, but right now I don't have green indication lamp, this is why I used yellow indication lamp. Now after this on indication lamp here, we have to do connection of this. If on internet you watch connection of on indication lamp in star delta starter, then always you will get wrong one. What you will get there is contactor we have, that is main contactor, with NO contact of this, they connect this indication lamp. But what will happen in this condition, understand this first. If you use only NO contact of main contactor, then when your main contactor turn on, your indication lamp will glow. But if somehow star contactor or delta contactor didn't turn on, then in this condition also, your indication lamp will keep on glowing. 
This is why by interlocking these two contactors, we have to do connection of indication lamp. How we do it? Let's see. Look, what you have to do, this phase supply here with this connect a wire, take this wire and this main contactor here with output of this that is with NO contact connect this wire. Now after this, you have to divide NO contact in two parts in this way. After this star contactor here, you have to use NO contact of this and in delta contactor also, you have to use NO contact of this. Now connect these two with each other. After this output power supply which goes, will go to indication lamp. After this, we can provide neutral power supply to this directly. So connection of on indication lamp will be done in this way. Friends, if you don't want to use this NO contact here, then in this condition, what you can do, this circuit here, from this, take a wire and divide this output power supply in two parts. This star and delta contactor here use NO contact of this and connect these two in parallel to each other. After this power supply which goes, we will connect this with indication lamp. So we will do this connection here because in this contactor here, only one NO contact is there and we already used it. So what we have to do, this A1 terminal here, wire which is looped here with NO, with the same wire, we have to loop one more wire. What I will do, I will loop this wire with this wire that is with NO terminal I am connecting this. After this take other end of this wire and this star contactor here connect this wire with NO of this. Now after this what we will do this NO contact here connect a wire with this in this way. After this take other end of the wire and in this delta contactor with NO contact connect this wire. The way in which we looped upper side NO contact in the same way we will loop the terminals at the lower side. After this what we will do, with this NO contact, we will connect one more wire, take other end of this wire and with this on indication lamp connect this wire. So to all the three indication lamps we provided phase supply. Now to these three indication lamps we have to provide neutral power supply. So what I will do, this MCB here connect a wire from here and to these three indication lamps connect neutral power supply. So connection of the indication lamps is completed. Ok then, let's check these by turning on, turning off and by tripping whether these indication lamps are working properly or not. So first of all, I am turning on the MCB. In this condition, you can see this indication lamp is glowing and we used this indication lamp for off condition. Here you can see our main contactor is off. This is why this indication lamp is glowing. Now I am turning on the motor. Motor is started. Right now motor is running in star connection. Now timer here will change the contact. Timer contact is now changed. Still indication lamp is glowing here. It means right now motor is on. Friends with on indication lamp, I used interlocking. How this interlocking will work? Look. What I will do, first of all, I am turning off. After this contact here, I am removing this for now. So that our contactor will not be able to turn on. So I am removing both of these. Now I will start the motor. Here our star contactor turned on. You can see this indication lamp is not glowing because I removed these so contact is not changing. In this condition, this indication lamp will not glow. Benefit here is if somehow one of these contactor is not turning on, then in this condition indication lamp will not glow. Ok, now this strip indication lamp is left to check. For this, we have to turn on motor. I turned on the motor here. If we want to check this, then we need to trip overload relay. To trip this relay, what we have to do, this cover here, we have to remove this from here. Now you can see here, test is written. When I slide this test button, then overload relay will trip. You can see our indication lamp started glowing. Friends, if you want to learn control wiring of star delta starter, then click on the right hand side video to watch. Thanks for watching this video.